It is no secret that Michael Jordan's very competitive on the court. Stories of his desires to be the best at every single thing he does have become legendary tales throughout the years. In 1985, he lost the slam dunk contest to Dominic Wilkins. When he was healthy enough to try again in 1987, he came back, avenged that defeat, and won again in 1988. Or when the Bulls couldn't get past the Detroit Pistons in the NBA playoffs in the late 80s and early 90s, Jordan worked harder and harder and eventually led his team past their hated rival en route to their first NBA title. Or what about the time when Michael Jordan came back to the NBA the first time in 1995? He lost his first playoff series in five years to the Orlando Magic. So again, he made himself work harder and then simply led the Bulls to a 72 and 10 record and started a second three-peat. Michael Jordan wins, that's just what he does. But nobody wins everything, right? Jordan is great at a lot of things, but three-point shooting was really never one of them. But he was so competitive that in 1990, he wanted to try his luck at the All-Star Game three-point contest, and things simply did not go well. When All-Star Weekend rolled around in 1990, Michael Jordan was shooting 39% from the three-point line, and he wanted to try the three-point shootout, something he'd never done before. Okay, that makes sense. With his competitiveness, I'm sure the network was fine with that as anything that MJ was involved in at the time was a ratings gold. It just looked very strange back then as people were used to seeing Jordan in the slam dunk contest year in and year out. Not the three point contest. He should have stuck with that one. The other seven competitors that year were legendary. Larry Bird, Reggie Miller, Craig Elo, Bobby Hansen, Mark Price, John Sunvold, and Jordan's teammate, Craig Hodges. That list wasn't easy to beat. All those names, you usually associate them with three-point shooting back then. Two people shot at the same time as a time saver and Jordan and Hodges were up. Hodges did what Hodges did in those contests, scoring 20 points out of a possible 30. Michael Jordan, on the other hand, simply did not fare quite as well. He had a historically awful performance, scoring just five points. The worst score the contest has ever seen in NBA history. It's rare to see Michael Jordan struggle, but that was brutal to watch as shot after shot after shot missed and bricked. MJ scored just five points, the worst score the contest has ever seen. Only Detlef Shrimp in 1998 has been as bad as Jordan was that night in Miami. Jordan was easily eliminated after the first round. Hodges, his teammate, went on to win the first of three consecutive victories from 1990 to 1992. It's honestly a bit surprising that Michael Jordan never tried the three-point contest again as it's really not likely for him to just give up. Perhaps he didn't want to go through that type of embarrassment ever again.